for Prickies, guys. Thank you very much, yes. Shotokan Karate, yeah, that's, a, that's impressive, yeah. Hey, we have a lot in common. I also used to watch a lot of anime. <laughs> that's called an otaku, do you guys know about that? Yeah. Watashi wa chikan desu, yeah. I was gonna ask you guys, have there been a wave of people from Austin moving to Ohio? Have you guys been seeing that? Vice versa. Vice versa, yeah, that's what I thought, yeah. Nobody, you haven't seen anything like that? Yeah. <laughs> Well, down in Austin, there's all these billboards. I think they're from the Ohio Chamber of Commerce. They're trying to get people to move from Austin to Ohio, you know. It says, uh, yeah, what's good, what's good in 365 days of sunshine if you can't enjoy it? Ohio. <laughs> That's their pitch. I guess it's not really working. They're wasting my day. Like, you sick of seeing women without bras? Ohio. <laughs> Are you nostalgic from the time you had to pay state income tax? Yeah, Ohio. Oh, it's crazy. That was my fun. A little vacation here, guys. It's good. I know, right? That's that should be the sign there. Vacation in Ohio? Big question mark. Yeah, no, it's fun. Oh, I tell you what. I was uh, looking through some of my old things, and uh, I found a bucket list I'd written in my twenties. Now, first item on there, it said, become a millionaire by 30. Well, I'm only a million 17,000 short. <laughs> yeah. Also, I'm 38, so. Probably just gonna cross that one off, guys, you know. Yeah, yeah and then it's on there, uh, do a woman twice your age. Again, I'm 38. So. <laughs> I might be legal, I don't know. Cross that off. It just said, be thin. I was like, oh. <laughs> just gotta cross that one off, guys. Yeah. So there, own, own your own home. I was like, ah, yeah, man. good one. Uh, yeah, at the bottom it did say, uh, learn how to speak fluent Japanese. And I was like, vaka oh, your own. Just cross that off. That's never gonna happen. I don't really know those two phrases. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, I don't know. That's horrible. Well, I tell you, I used to be in sales, and I used to sell the easiest thing to sell on the planet. You guys have any idea what that might be? Any guesses? Sex. Selling sex. Thank you. <laughs> Turn on this bussy hair. I don't know. That's a nice compliment. But no, it wasn't that. You know, this is the formal economy. You know, any other guesses? Yeah, I guess that's work is work. I guess. But. <laughs> Well, I'll just tell you guys, it was uh, handguns at a pawn shop in Texas. And I was very good at it, again, because I have a beard, so. Uh, I'll, I'll walk you through the sales procedure. Here's what you do. A gentleman walks into the pawn shop, and you just go, how many guns will it be today, brother? And that's it. And he'll just give you a number. He's like, uh, one. I'm like, okay, cool. How will you be paying today, sir? Untraceable gold bullion? And he's like, no. Nah. That's when he pulls out his gun. I like to buy my gun with a gun. Fantastic. It's a pawn shop. We can do that. Just type it in gun. I'm like, oh, look, I see you scraped off the serial numbers. Good. That'll save time. Gun. I'm like, well, you want me to wrap this up in the U.S. Constitution for you? Eh, I'm going to wear it out. Fair enough, have a lovely day. Yeah, and for that, I was also paid a commission of one gun. So. Now I have a gun. Yeah, Texas is great, guys. I'm telling you what. I gotta take it, I'm really proud. Uh, I recently lost 75 pounds, so. Thank you, thank you. Uh, not true. No, uh, I've been looking like this for a while, guys. You know. I've been working on it, though. You know, I got uh, a trainer. You know, I got the meals coming in from HelloFresh. I already lost seven hundred dollars. <laughs> it's going pretty good. Again, I didn't know what healthy eating looked like. Again, you gotta like get a pan, put like a whole stick of butter in there, you know, and some heavy cream, and you gotta put some like bacon grease in there, and some olive oil, you know, and then like as much cheese as the pan will accommodate, you know, and then just like a little bit of meat, and then you eat that and you lose weight. 
I don't really understand how it works, but the thing is, now my intestines are lined with oil and grease and butter, and that's what I'm saying is my intestines are like a slip and slide. <laughs> Meat goes in the top, it does not stop. I guess what I'm saying is if you're gonna do keto, uh, you can't fart. <laughs> Very careful on keto. Yeah. Also, before keto, my urine used to smell pretty funny, but now it smells hilarious. So. Anyways, thank you guys very much. I'm an Alden Shaw. Appreciate it.